I'm taking another look at Array Mesh inside ZBrush 4 R7. Pretty wicked and very easy. Uh, let's see, this is the initial shape I started out with. Let's select the right subtool. Okay. Now this is just a box, but it looks like a gear, or if you move the array mesh up even further, right now it's repeating seven times. Now it's not repeating any times. One time, uh, three times, four times, five times. And if you keep going, you get uh, really, really cool shapes. Now this started out as a box, just like this. But when you spin it around enough times, it starts to look pretty cool. Now let's say I wanted, okay, I liked this a whole bunch. I can save this, this um, array mesh creation that I've made. So, array mesh total cheese burger right and I'm gonna save that in my documents just so I can find it okay now I like this shape a whole bunch it's not a square but it's a little different so let's uh, open up that subtool okay now go to array mesh then open Documents, Array Mesh, Total Cheeseburger. That's the one. Okay. And then you open it, and it, uh, the same uh, uh, repeated uh, actions that you used for this first subtool uh, transfer over to this object as well. Now, it's not a complete circle because I guess I didn't go around enough times or something. <laughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, anyway, moving on. Let's... Hmm. Doesn't look like I've got a lot of uh, geometry, but I have a lot of uh, subdivision or uh, repeated actions on these uh, things, so I'm going to turn them down a little bit. Ah, press F. Okay, next subtool is this. Let's see what this does. Probably jaggedy like this, but I'm not sure. Okay, open array mesh. Uh, open. Okay, documents. Array mesh. Total cheeseburger. Okay, open. Yeah, similar. But that's really, really cool. Um, you can really make lots of interesting things with this or import it into um, game engines and all that let's see what the next shape does subtool this one F let's frame this move out a little bit okay array mesh now let's open total cheeseburger and uh, array mesh total cheese total cheeseburger okay that's what it gives us and let's modify it just a little bit. So, the transpose tool is on, and let's. I rotated it, but let's rotate it in another direction. See what that gives us. What? Well, and a little bit more. Okay. I love this one. So let's uh, save this one. Oh, uh, documents. Okay. Array mesh absolute. Ah, cheese burger. Okay. Perfect. Now let's move over. Thinking, um, it's starting to slow down a little bit because I've got a lot of uh, um, 
I don't know, faces to worry about right now. So let's uh, move to this one. Let's hide these to see if that helps with our ah, performance. Okay, no, well, not really. Um, okay, array mesh. Open. Documents. Array mesh. Absolute cheeseburger. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Sweet. That can be like in a blender or something. Cool. Subtool. Okay. Frame. This is our last one. Let's delete all the others. Yes, always do it. So sad. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, now... Frame. Now this will be a lot easier to work with. Array mesh. Open. Documents. Okay, total cheeseburger. Now let's modify this some too. Let's move it as well. Okay. Good. Oh yeah, let's make a cool thing. That's uh, a uh, scary weapon. Whoa. Okay, it's not rotating enough. So, <gasps> stairs. That's cool. Now. Okay. Yep. Okay, I like that. And let's uh, tweak some of these settings a little bit. Okay. The pattern starts at what percentage? Aha, that's cool. Bleh, um, pattern something. Okay, that does that. Pattern length. That's how long it is. Yeah, okay, I did that. No, okay, oh, mirror, let's see what that does. Oh, that's cool. Mirror Y and Z. Cool, okay. Now, if I want to use this uh, design or uh, array mesh that took me a long time, let's save this. Uh, documents. Okay, yeah, array mesh. Mesh Hungry oh, Cheese Burger Great! Okay, if anybody wants to play with play with Array Mesh or um, save Array Meshes, just do what I showed you in this video and have lots of fun because you can use any sub tool you want to just don't make it really high resolution because it, it might bog your computer down or crash ZBrush. Yeah. Thanks, everybody.